So what we're doing today is uh, dismantling a Molex power connector. Uh, you may want to do it because you're sleeving your power cables or maybe you just want to connect a few extra cables to one socket, whatever you're doing. This is just a general guide on how to dismantle a connector. The uh, connector is made up of wires and four of these pins, you can see that. It uh, has two tabs on the side that uh, hold it into the, the plastic connector, so it prevents it from the wire falling out. And all you have to do is squeeze the two tabs together so that it becomes flush with the rest of the metal casing so that you can just pull it out quite easily from the casing. So this is what it looks like. There's four pins in there. And so you just use uh, tweezers, or if you've got pliers, that'll fit, whatever you have. And you just squeeze it to a fair degree, and then pull it out like that. And that's one connect, uh, pin for you. So then you just go along and do the rest of them. Two, area number three, and the last one it can get a bit tricky sometimes, but if you've done it a few times, it's pretty easy. And there you go, disconnected. Just make sure you remember where the uh, cables go back together because. You don't want to put them in the wrong way, it'll cause lots of problems. And to put them back in, you just lift the metal tabs up again and slot them back into the connector. You just push it in like this and it just clicks in. And so then you just go along and do all four of them. You can get a special tool to remove these for you. Uh, I don't have one, but if it, this is too tricky for you, it might be worth investing. You just Google uh, Molex de-pinning tool, and that should give you some results for a small little tool. It's about 10 bucks, I think. That will help you dismantle a connector. So there you go. Pretty easy. And uh, if you're looking for more tutorials on how to do anything related to computers, just uh, take a look on pctutorialsonline.net and uh, hopefully this one tutorial helped you. See ya.